Cutting down trees, dry tree branches, twigs, and bushes are important tasks that need to be carried out throughout the year, especially if you own a garden. For these kinds of tasks, there are various saws to choose from, but the choice eventually comes down to two main cutters, a pole saw or a chainsaw. Some people refer to a pole saw as a chainsaw on a stick. Actually, this venom may be somewhat true to its name. A pole saw is a chainsaw that has an extendable pole for cutting trees. This tool consists of the powerhouse, the engine, a long drive rod, and a saw that takes the ensemble of a chainsaw, but is a bit shorter. Due to this, pole saws are often preferred when a gardener needs to cut dry branches and maintain the detailing when trimming tall trees without making use of a ladder. A chainsaw is a cutting tool that has teeth on a chain and is typically powered either by gas or an electric engine. The cutting chain is usually attached to the guide bar. It is mechanically powered to spin the chain. This cutting chain is responsible for cutting through wood. Whether you're felling trees, trimming large branches, or cutting firewood, a chainsaw is the fastest, most effective way to cut wood. They can also be quite dangerous if you handle them carelessly. Chainsaws are not only powered by gas, there are several electric chainsaws in the market too. They are typically smaller in size and are easier to handle, making them a great alternative for many. Chainsaws can perform their function as a result of an internal combustion engine connected to the chain with sharp blades. The simple mechanism has an increased level of reliability. There are always two options to pick from. As mentioned earlier, a pole saw is best described as a pruning saw attached to the end of a pole. Pole saws are great for trimming tree limbs and branches that are hard to reach. So instead of using a ladder, Getting a good pole saw is a better idea. Just like the chainsaw, pole saws come in different types, manual, electric, and gas-powered pole saws. A gas-powered pole saw is like a chainsaw with an extension. They can be quite dangerous, but if you'll be doing a lot of trimming, you may want to consider a power pole saw. Electric pole saws are easily powered when plugged in a power cord or connected to a battery pack. Pole saws, like the standard chainsaws, are available in two basic types, the electric and gas-powered pole saw, each has its pros and cons. There are also manual pole saws, but if you're not a professional, you'll probably have no use for one. They're the most heavy duty of all the pole saws. They're also the most powerful and most popular choice for professional landscapers. Gas-powered pole saws are relatively easy to use, very mobile, and provide a great amount of cutting power that is versatile enough for different scenarios. They have a gas-powered engine on one end and a small chainsaw blade on the other. The length of the pole is mostly dependent on the model, but the minimum for most models is six feet, with some extending a little further. Just as the name suggests, electric pole saws are powered by electricity instead of gas. They are also of different types, like their gas-powered counterparts. They have a build similar to a weed eater. The only difference is that the engine does not rely on combustible fuel. The sizes and reach of electric pole saws vary, but certain professional models extend up to six, 10 feet. The engine portion of the saw is located on the bottom, which connects to a trigger that controls the speed of the blade. Manual pole saws are simple yet efficient for several reasons. Without a need for an engine or a battery, manual pole saws can use longer poles for an even greater reach. They are also very easy to maneuver, even though they require a considerable amount of work to get the job done. Most professional landscapers and arborists have at least one manual saw on hand despite the popularity of the gas and electric models. Manual pole saws require skill to use. They usually have less damaging effects on tasks. The major difference between the two saws is their length. The chainsaw is capable of working in tight areas as well as in up close and personal spaces. It can also accomplish any task from trimming branches or cutting down trees to creating a piece of folk art using a block of wood. A pole saw, on the other hand, is a chainsaw on a stick. And that simply extends your reach. This extension adds an extra level of safety for the saw. The operator no longer needs to climb ladders or put themselves in a potentially harmful position just to achieve their task. The extended reach of the pole saw offers a new dimension to the use of chainsaws. It is capable of tasks that the regular gas chainsaw would not be able to accomplish. Now it's your turn. Which one impresses you the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, do share and subscribe to our channel for further video notifications.